Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm gonna discuss about adjoint of a matrix, how we can find the adjoint of the matrix. And previously, I have added some videos about the matrix inversion method, uh, Kramer's rule, and various other methods which are related to numerical analysis. And these videos are going to be helpful to all of you guys who are currently studying the matrices. And without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, here uh, we have a formula for calculating the matrix or uh, sorry adjoint of any matrix. Here it is given as adjoint of a matrix A will be equals to cofactor of the matrix A and its transpose means adjoint will be equal to the transpose of the cofactor of a matrix. So here I am going to I am going to select some example of both for the uh, two by two matrix and three by three matrix only 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix because it is only possible to find the cofactor of the matrix only if the our matrix matrix is a square matrix and guys whenever if you are asked to calculate the cofactor of the matrix then it means uh, that uh, the proper given matrix will be a square matrix either it will be a 2 by 2 matrix or 3 by 3 matrix or 4 by 4 matrix 4 by 4 matrix is a bit, little bit lengthy so from the exam point of view 3 by 3 matrix is very important uh, whose co uh, we may be asked to calculate the cofactor so without any further delay let us see some example suppose we have a matrix a First of all, I am going to discuss about 2 by 2 matrix and then we will discuss about 3 by 3 matrix. So here we go. We have a matrix A which is given as uh, 5, 4, minus 3 and 2. And we are asked to find the cofactor or sorry adjoint of matrix A. So first of all, we need to find the cofactor of matrix A. And guys, uh, let me tell you one thing that it is not that much difficult to calculate the adjoint or cofactor of the 2 by 2 matrix. This is 2 by 2 matrix and sorry 2 by 2 matrix and let us select one more square matrix which will be of 3 by 3 order and let another matrix be B which is of 3 by 3 order means 3 row and 3 column. So let this matrix be 6 minus 5 4 minus 3 2 and 1 let this element be 0 and 4 and this be 7 now let us calculate the adjoint of these two matrix one by one first of all uh, have a look to our 2 by 2 matrix so so guys if we have a look toward our formula first of all for in order to calculate the adjoint of a matrix first of all we need to calculate the cofactor of matrix A so right here solution solution and here we will have right here cofactor cofactor of matrix a will be given by now see for calculating cofactor to in 2 by 2 matrix what we need to do is we need simply need to interchange a interchange a diagonal element this is our diagonal element these two are our diagonal element so we do not simply need to interchange their positions so here in, in place of 5 we will place 2 and in place of 2 we will place 5 and uh, we also need to ch change this element also and now here the difference is while ca while changing this down while changing the element of the down this downward element uh, this diag this diagonal means left to right we simply need to change the position only and when we are changing this uh, element of this diagonal from means from bottom to top then we need to change the sign as well as their position so 4 will occupy this position and 3 will occupy this position and here our 3 is negative so it will be positive and our 4 is positive so it will take negative sign so we have now calculated the cofactor of matrix A now after calculating the cofactor we need to find the adjoint of matrix A so we will write here now adjoint of matrix A adjoint of matrix A will be given by adjoint of matrix A will be given by 2 minus 4 3 5 this is cofactor and its transpose now how to calculate transpose it is very simple for calculating the transpose what we need to do is we have to change the first row with first column and second row with uh, we will made it another column what I said 
we need to change made this first row to first column so it will take two three and this minus four will be here second row will become second column so four and five this is our adjoint of matrix a this is adjoint of matrix a it can be asked in exam in two marks uh, for two by two matrix and now it's time to calculate the cofactor of matrix b and then we will calculate its adjoint it is a bit different so uh, it, it is very important from exam point of view also so i hope you will watch this uh, calculation of this adjoint of matrix b very carefully uh, let us write solution here and calculate the cofactor of b cofactor of b so how we can calculate the cofactor first of all we will calculate the cofactor of this element 6 for that what we need to do is i am going to need some sign pen here so i have already got it and simply cover this is 6 so cover 6 uh, cover the all the row and column in which our element 6 lies 6 lies in this element this column and this row and take and now what after doing that what we need to do is uh, simply multiply this element downward and this upward so on multiplying we will have 2 times 7 equals to 14 so and after 14 what we need to do is uh, we need to subtract this uh, upward element means first multiply this 2 times 7 14 and then subtract this 0 times 1 so 0 times 0 1 will be 0 so first the cofactor of, of the first element 6 will be 14 only we do not need to um, uh, subtract because 0 uh, actually it is g, uh, 14 minus 0 so 0 times 1 is 0 so we do not need to show it here now time for second element so for second element what we need to do is this is minus 5 so cover the row and column in which our minus 5 lies so it lies in this now multiply 3 minus 3 times 7 will be equals to minus 21 minus 21 and plus 4 it is 0 now uh, cover this and uh, this and now we will have 7 times 3 equals to minus 21 and upward will be negative so 4 times 1 will be 4 and when multiplying upward we will take minus sign so minus 4 similarly now time for this 4 element this element 4 so cover this and now minus 3 times 0 will be equals to 0 will be equals to 0 and 4 times 2 will be equals to 8 and we are moving upward so minus 8 now time for this element 3 so cover this element 3 and multiply as it is we have done in the previous step that is minus 5 times 7 will be equals to minus 35 5, 7, 5 times 7 35 and uh, uh, it is minus so minus 35 and 4 times 0 will be equals to minus 0 similarly now cover this uh, this central portion uh, in which the our element 2 lies cover the row and column in which our element 2 lies so cover this and this this minus 3 2 1 is covered and minus 5 2 0 is covered so we will have remaining elements 6 4 4 7 so 6 times 7 will be equals to 42 and 4 times 4 will be equals to 16 so we will have 6 times 7 equals to 42 and minus 4 times 4 equals to 16 similarly now for element 1 cover this column and this row so 6 times 0 will be equals to 0 and my put minus sign because we are multiplying up uh, upward so 4 times 5 will be equals to minus 20 and minus and minus will get positive 20 now here now for element 4 cover this and this and multiply all the other elements so minus 5 times 1 will be equals to minus 5 so right here minus 5 and 4 uh, and uh, we are uh, calculating this for 4 elements so we have remaining minus 5 4 2 1 so 2 times 4 will be equals to minus 8 now here time for element 2 so we have remaining 6 minus 3 4 and 1 so 6 times 1 will be equals to 6 and minus 
3 times 4 will be equals to minus 12 and uh, we are moving up so minus and minus will get positive 12 minus 3 times 4 minus 12 and we are moving up so we need to put one more sign so minus and minus will get plus 12 now uh, for this element 7 we have remaining uh, element 6 minus 3 minus 5 and 2 so 6 times 2 will be equals to 12 and minus and minus 3 and minus 5 will get positive 15 so minus 15 now add, add this up then we will have here 14 minus 25 minus 8 minus 35 and 26 20 minus 13 18 and minus 3 here after this what we need to do is for cofactor of b what we need to do and three for three by three matrix what we need to do is we have to change the sign of diagonal or uh, diamond elements diamond elements means the element occupying the position see here which is making taking the diamond shape this these elements signs are to be changed means we need to change the to make positive to negative and negative to positive it will give us cofactor of b so now what we need to do is we have to change the sign here so posi minus 25 will become po plus 25 these diagonal elements signs are only changed minus 25 will get positive 25 minus 35 will become positive 35 plus 18 will get minus 18 and plus 20 will become minus 20 this is the cofactor of b this is cofactor of b now we need to calculate the adjoint of a so now we will write here adjoint of a will be equals to 14 35 minus 13 25 26 minus 18 minus 8 minus 20 minus 3 and it's its transpose so we already know how to calculate the transpose simply interchange the raw and columns so our adjoint of a will be equals to its transpose so we will write here 14 25 we will uh, sweep swap uh, the column with raw so this is our raw and this is column so 25 will become here and minus 8 similarly 35 26 minus 20 minus 13 minus 18 minus 3 so this is what we need to calculate when we are asked to calculate the cofactor of matrix b and once more guys i would like to tell you that uh, cofactor of matrix or uh, 3 by 3 matrix is very important from the exam point of view and i will be back with the new topic related to matrix and uh, you can watch some other videos uh, related to the numerical analysis on this channel link are in the description if you like the video then uh, do like and share this video with your friend and till then stay safe and take care of yourself